Hi guys, Joseph here from Joe Concept. How are we doing today? So there is this um, animation I made and I really do not know the name to call this technique or to call this um, uh, this stuff. But then I hope before the end of, um, before uploading, I would have gotten it and used it in my thumbnail. But for this tutorial, this is what we're going to be looking at, how to create this animation. I'm not including the camera movement, but just this animation, the basic animation. That is what we're going to be looking at, how to create this. So by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create stuff like this. So I'd like to just implore you guys that if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. And also, I would also appreciate you to hit the like button and share this tutorial because you don't know who it might help. So without looking too much, let's just get into the software. Okay, so let's begin by creating a cube, which is going to be the object to hold this um, object here. Yeah? So I'm just going to quickly create this, make it big and bring it up. So let's say we'll bring it up at 350. Okay, then I'm going to create a sphere and bring this way down. Okay, I think this should do. And I'm going to increase this. Uh, let's say 48 and let's print this 40. I think this is fine. Okay, and I'm, I'm also going to create a cylinder. And this cylinder I'm going to reduce this. So if I go to the front view and just reduce this, make it very thin, bring it up. Just so I have it interact okay a little bit more even thinner and also bring it down i just want to make sure it's having interaction between both of them so i think this is fine okay so this is the first object so what i'm going to do now is i am going to create a Okay, so for this cylinder, I'm going to convert it to editable format and then so what I'm going to do this is because I'm going to be making use of a technique, but then before I get to that in a moment, if I add this simulation tag to both of them and make this um, Okay, and make this rigid body then for the cube Because this cube I don't want it to fall down I want this cube to stay where it is, so I'm going to make this one a collider object. So just make it a collider body. So if I play through, both of them falls down except this cube. So I need to look for a way to hold these guys up together. All right. So for me to do that, I would have to quickly do one setup. Then I would just duplicate also for you to see what we are going to have. So I'm going to go to my simulation tag then my dynamic so let me just try this open i'm going to add a connector object so for this connector object i want to connect this cylinder with this cube so what i'll do is i'll bring this connector object up here okay so the kind of um connector object i'm going to be using is um, called ball and socket it's just to hold this object at this point so if i scale this down a little bit just to have a better visual stuff then i'll bring this here i'll for the connector objects i'm going to make the first object the cube and the second object the cylinder because i want it to hold the cylinder so if you play through now it holds this can you see so that is what i'm looking at so i need to also hold this guy down so what i'm going to do for the next one is add another connector but this time I bring this connector between the cylinder and the sphere. So this time, this connector is not going to be a ball and socket. It's going to be this hinge joint. So I'm just going to rotate this like this. Okay. All right. Then I'm also going to scale this down, move this up a little bit. And for the first object, I'll make it the cylinder, and the second, I'll make the sphere. So if you look through now, this is what we're going to have. So now the issue we are now going to run into this now. You notice this is bouncing down, and the reason is because of um, just in the 
simulation settings and dynamics if i hit ctrl d to take me to the dynamics then under this dynamics setting i'll go to the expert tab i want to bring this collision way down so it's 0 0.001 and if i come back and play through you see it reduces that a little bit but then still need to bring it back so another way to solve that is to come to this step by frame i'm going to double this so the higher the value the more accurate it gets but the lower it takes to simulate so uh, the longer rather it takes to simulate so i'll make this like 15 and bring this also let's try 20 and let's see what we have so you notice it stay it stays put so it's not so deep. it still jumps in, jumping but it just leads to so i think this is fine because we're really going to be far from it so this is the first step solving this problem so the second thing we're going to do is to look for a way to duplicate this so i'm going to um create a new object a null object and bring this null object up here just somewhere here and maybe i'll make this a circle um okay so this is um let's make it a sphere object so that we'll be able to see mm, where well, i use sphere, sphere, sphere. okay so this is it and reduce okay so we are going to go for white color okay so this is fine so we we'll put everything except the cube into this null object and make this so we we'll call this the first object so notice this is what we're not going to be duplicating so if you play through it stays put so i'm going to duplicate this and bring the next one here make sure they are not intersecting it's very important so we have that so if you look at the value here is 80 so i'm going to duplicate this and make this minus 80 so that it creates the duplicate here so if i go to the side view this is what i have okay so this is fine so i'm going to now create another duplicate to the side and let's call this 160 so for this duplicate now we're going to run into a problem so this is the one i want to come and rotate and start hitting this just fall down from here so if i come back and play through everything just stays put but i want to make this and let it just fall down but then if you try to rotate this it will not work oh really it works okay so that's fine then so this rotates so we can bring this way here so if we check through now this falls and then we have this so now we need to try and simulate that effect so that as this hits this not all of them the only the last one goes and comes back so what i am going to do is to um go into all of these objects click under this rigid body and go and start changing this bound so if we bring this bound to 80 and see what we have okay it's still taking everything so we are going to just start working with this bounce till we get the accurate value that works so this is not good so let's try 120 and let's see what we have okay no so this is 100 okay so let me bring this to 300 and so that i have enough time for myself okay so we have this problem now so now this is now the issue we run into you notice everything is not giving us what we want so which brings me to the next thing and that is so i'm going to do that with each of these so if i if i take this for a moment and select the cylinder go to the point mode so i want to check these points that's what i want to interact with not from the center because if you look at this if you look at the um connector it's having effect on the center of the object so if you select this connector you notice 
this is done to the center of the mass and I don't want it to be from the center of the mass I want it to be at every of these end joints so I want the connection to be so from this guy I want the connection of the box to be attached to this point so how do I go about that if I go to this connector for the cylinder I don't want it to be attached to the center of the mass I want to attach to a point but as soon as I click on point it's going to ask me the index of that point so how do I get the index of this point it's just selecting the point I'm going to the structure it's going to highlight the point so if I select this you notice it's going to highlight a different point here this is 109 so for me to get this index select it that index is 0.1 so if I come back here I can change this from this to one all right then i'll go to the next connector so if i hit down so for this next connector this hinge i want it to be connected to the to this point <laughs> and this point i know that is, is zero so if you see it's highlighted zero so what i'll do is go to the connector change the cylinder from the center of the mass to points and leave it at the zero so basically that's everything i'm going to do for all of them so for the first one i have one and the second one i have zero so i'll do the same thing for this all the first ones so we change uh, let me be sure first one are one so go to the first connectors i'm going to change them from point to one and for the second connectors which is going to be zero okay so i'll go to the second connector this this and this um because i'm the first object is the cylinder so i'll change this to points and i'll leave it at the zero so let me be sure zero 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 all right so that's how to do that so if i come back here now and check what i have this should have a little bit of change in the way it goes okay so still not going okay so let's see i think the issue will be from the collision so let's say 90 and let's see what we have Let's start from 200. That's way too much. Um, okay, I think I would still have to come to this mass and let's change this custom mass. Let's make this 100 and see so that they are kind of heavy. So if we highlight this and also still play, play through, let's see what we have. Okay, I think the bounce is too much. Um, Let's see. Okay, so something is wrong somewhere. Mm, this one. Okay, so let's see. I think that's the problem. So let's go back and try and see. Um, night C. What else? What could be the problem? So I think, let me see, it might be that something is wrong here. I think, let me increase this um, value more and see what happens. So if we make this 181, let them just have space in between. And for the other one, which is this one, let's have it minus 81. So I want to have enough space. I don't want to have any interaction first. So let's see what we have. Okay, so 
so this is giving me what i want so you can see the effect you get to have so just because you have that space that's why we have that issue so you can just look at how we got this effect and that's it so i could now go all the way here and start looking at this bounce and if i bring this bounce to 90 and see so the more the bounce the more the more I want, so just work with the bounce value and that will give you the effect we're looking for. So that's pretty much how I, I made that and how to make that really. And I just thought I should share share this with you guys that I felt it was um, something I should share with you guys. So if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because I do tutorials like this every day. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.